Hey, it's been a while and I wanted to do an update for the new year. Here's my son. <laughs> I just see my iPhone. Say zoom. Shh, mommy's turn to talk. Hi guys, I know it's been a while um, and I'm so sorry. Um, a lot has been going on. It's a new year, um, 2017, January. So I'm um, trying to have a new start and using that as kind of a, a jumping board for me. Right, Jackson? Yes! <laughs> so, um, what's been going on is we were expecting a third. I was pregnant for a third time. And um, the pregnancy ended early in the second trimester. So I was really depressed and um, very sad and grieving. So just dealing with the, the hormonal changes, the postpartum depression part, plus um, the grief. It was just very difficult for me and I just was having a really hard time. I didn't want to post on social media. I didn't want to um, even accept that it. that was my reality. But, you know, um, I'm, I feel better now, um, and, and I... Oh, I am... And I have these babies to um, help cheer me up. Um, so, yeah, so... Business. For the new year, I plan to vlog more, actually, show my family more. I just, I just really um, just want to share my life with um, like-minded people, you know. <laughs> I just want to share. I got a little nervous about little trolls and stuff because, you know, you do find those people coming onto your channel with negativity. I'm just going to ignore them because I really, really love all of the um, people, mommies, moms, ladies, um, that I get to talk to on YouTube. So I just don't want to miss out on that um, just because of um, fear of what they have to say you know so I'm just going to share more I have tons of things to talk about um, definitely after um, being so depressed and stuff I definitely overate um, at night up late eating not being able to sleep and I gained a lot of weight I actually weigh as much as I did I believe I was nine months pregnant with my daughter um, the last time I, I weighed 130 or in the 130s so um, I'm doing right now a five-day cleanse to kind of get myself rebooted. I ordered it from um, myglobio.com. It's by Kimberly Snyder. She's a nutritionist, and I just love her as a nutritionist. I love her philosophy, so I ordered it so I don't have to do the work and prepping and making all the smoothies myself for five whole days because it's a lot of product <laughs> that you need to make um, to be prepared for five days. So. Um, yeah, so far it's so good. I'm on day two. So I weighed myself yesterday and I weighed 131. Um, when I weighed myself today, I was 129.4. So that was probably just a toxin release, honestly, um, that made that change. I don't know if it's actual fat <laughs> loss, but um, probably just um, just loosening up all those toxins that I had in my body. So I just wanted to start the new year right and, you know, get down to my goal weight and be happier and incorporate more uh, meditation like I used to and just um, incorporate um, a workout schedule like I did when I was pregnant with my daughter and I felt really good when I worked out all the time. So I want to do that again and waking up early again. I started waking up early again and it already is starting to make me feel better um, in general. I used to wake up at 5, 5.30 all the time just to get ahead of the kids and ahead of my day and honestly best thing ever to wake up early I know a lot of people are morning people but it's the best thing ever to wake up early right Jack yes I would try to wake up before him <laughs> and his sister who's taking a nap right now so yeah so I did that and I and I'm also this year into finding my signature scent and I think I found it I went shopping I went to bird orbs in New York I took the train because I live in Connecticut <laughs> I live in Connecticut, so I took the train down. I found this amazing line of perfumes that I really love that I can kind of layer and customize. Because, you know, I don't want my husband walking down the street and smell something and be like, wow, mm, she smells just like my wife. No, 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 honey. I need to have my own signature that's 
my classic every day, every evening, you smell that, that's Britney, you know? No? Yeah, I'm real geeked about it. My husband thinks I'm going crazy about it. I'm like, no, smell this. Smell that. Smell this one. <laughs> smell my neck. Do you like it? It's a combo. And, you know. <laughs> I smell it. That what I smell like? I'm delicious. Do I smell good? Smell me. Smell good? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, okay. As long as you, as long as you love it. <laughs> And I'm excited about it too because when my babies are first born, I don't like to wear any fragrance because I want them to get my natural smell and, and I just identify with that one, kind of that natural nature bond thing, the hormones and hormones that we're exchanging. I don't want to disrupt that in any way, so I won't wear perfume for at least the first three months that, um, you know, of having a newborn. So now i mean obviously my daughter's far from three months but i kind of stopped being so excited about it as i was initially so now i'm back to that so yeah just like random new things but i just wanted to get on and and tell you guys um you know what happened and you know you don't have to say condolences or anything like that because you know i just i just want to be happy again you know i don't want to dwell anymore um it's been a couple months now of just dwelling and trying to process yeah. trying to decide if if i i do want to have another if i want to plan to try again um if i'm done you know it's a lot to think about and honestly i just want to um you know, just get to a, a better place overall before I make that decision um, and just feel more whole and at peace and understanding um, what I deserve, what I need, um, just being more whole and centered, you know, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. But, um, yeah, so look forward to seeing all my new vlogs of my family. You'll see my kids a lot. You'll see my husband. Um, and I definitely have a lot of how-tos that I'm going to be recording and um, morning routines and different things like that that I love to share and hopefully you guys love it too. So if you are not subscribed and this is the first time that you're seeing any videos by me, Make sure you subscribe so you can see all the videos I'm talking about and the vlogs. And um, I do have uh, more things that I would like to say about pregnancies and um, postpartum and even discussing um, perinatal depression. Because I actually was very sad to have prenatal depression this third time around. And which I did not have the, sec the first and second time at all. I was very happy. And um, this time I was just not happy. I was happy at first and then it just like spiraled down it was so strange to me and so different and i i know people normally talk about postpartum depression i never even known that it existed that there was this other side to being pregnant that can be really taxing and and sad and and just you know just depressive that was my first time experiencing that did anybody else ever feel like that you know that everyone was glowing and happy and you were not and didn't want to talk about that because it made it seem like you weren't grateful. But you were, you just wasn't your, you weren't yourself, you know? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go make lunch for these little ones. And my son's singing. All right, Jack. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next time. Hmm, what's on your face? <laughs> I'm just, bye-bye. Bye-bye.